Hey everyone, back again with another video to help you out. This time taking the steering wheel airbag out of this 2020 Nissan Kicks. Now I saw another video on this uh, airbag that uh, is in another language, so it was hard to understand. Uh, they did a really good job of showing um, the method and uh, the workings and stuff, but you just couldn't understand it. So uh, I'm making this one obviously in English, uh, so people know what's going on with this thing. Um, this also applies to some Rogues, Ultimas, maybe Sentras also. They use the same airbag and the same mechanism to hold it in. But uh, this is just how to take this airbag out. Um, obviously the first thing you're going to want to do anytime you're messing with airbags is disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Uh, you don't want this to go off. It's very expensive. Uh, so if you can save yourself some money if uh, you know this hasn't gone off yet and you need to do some steering wheel work or anything like that you can do this at home but uh, disconnect the battery first leave it set for 10 or 15 minutes or something just to get any kind of excess charge out of the system because there are capacitors that hold on to energy that can cause these to go off even if the battery is disconnected and then you immediately start working and uh, after that uh, I've taken the steering column out uh, I'm in the junkyard so this vehicle is destroyed um, so I'm just taking the airbag out for a customer, but uh, I've taken the air or the console the Console I've taken the uh, steering column out of this already the uh, the rest of the column is here It's a two-piece column, so I've removed this in order to actually get to the mechanism easier um, the video showed a really good job the other one did but uh, uh, I couldn't access the holes in the back to get to this thing obviously I've already got it loose now and unhooked and everything so I'll show you how this works and what you'll need to do to remove this um, on the bottom you'll have on the bottom of this column you'll have just a single hole and that you can access with a, a pick tool or some really small uh, tool to uh, press press up on you'll have this plastic tab right here and that's all you're pressing against to uh, unhook this and then the spring pressure here will release the bottom of the airbag then you'll have these two top ones to try to release and these are the ones I ran into issues with um, there's not a clear-cut way on this side that they come loose but uh, over here you have these spring clips right here and right over here now in order to get to these you're supposed to come through the back side of the steering column I'll show you the back here you're supposed to go through these holes here but uh, for whatever reason I, I didn't have a small enough tool or uh, I didn't get on an incorrect angle or whatever in order to pry those so I actually had to go in between the column and the plastic here you can see that metal piece right there and that's how I was able to come in from the back side. Let's see if I can get on this thing. from the back side here and then you can pry down on this little metal tab or this little spring clip right here so you can come in right and that's the problem on the other one he had like a special tool for removing airbags but if you're doing this at home you'll need a very thin screwdriver or an actual airbag removal tool or if you're doing this in the shop, you've probably already got shop tools to do this. But when you come in, you'll come up at a 90 degree angle. So whatever angle it is, you're going to pull up and that will, that will uh, release this airbag on the other side. Again, it's hard to do one handed and with the column in my lap. But you get the idea here. You're just trying to get this spring clip to move down. And when you get that spring clip to go down, it'll release the spring pressure to be able to get the airbag out. And then you'll have these two plastic tabs here. You'll have to pop these little black pieces up just a little because these are the lock tabs. 
and then you can remove the airbag from these clips or the clips from the airbag but then you'll have this one ground strap here that you can just pop off of the uh, metal tab on the airbag but that's all there is to taking this off it's kind of a pain if you're not using the proper tools but uh, if this helped you out drop a like down below subscribe for more videos and i hope this saved you some time and some money so thanks for watching